Well, this week, Governor Ron DeSantis endorsed a statewide strategy for dealing with homeless people. He wants to create camps to house the homeless. Bills are moving forward that would require counties to ban homeless people from camping and sleeping in public places and instead allow them to stay in designated camps with security, sanitation, and access to behavioral health services. As the Tampa Bay Times reports, the governor said the legislation is still a work in progress. He says he backs the goal of moving homeless people off the streets. He also said he was open to assigning money to help local governments treat and house them. We're not going to let any uh, city uh, turn into a San Francisco. Not on our watch. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to have protection for people. Some Democrats, though, are opposed, saying the proposed laws are vague and could lead to criminalizing homelessness. What happens to homeless people? Are they subject to being arrested? Are they becoming criminals under this bill? Um, we asked that question. We didn't really get an answer. There is a housing crisis here in Florida. For years, the cost of buying a house or renting in Florida has risen sharply, faster than almost any other state. And the state has the nation's third highest homeless population, with nearly 26,000 unhoused people counted in a survey in 2022. Danny, uh, we don't know what this legislation is ultimately going to look like, but with the governor's endorsement, it has a pretty good shot. Will this end up, do you think, or should it end up in, in that you, you arrest people if they're sleeping in public places or camping in public parks? Should that be part of the legislation? Yes, yeah, very. it's a concern, but I will tell you, if you've been to Atlanta any time in the past six months, I have a home in Alabama. I travel a lot through, out, through Atlanta. Their homeless people are on the interstates or camping under bridges. In fact, a few weeks ago, there was a fire under I-75 that literally shut down the interstate to make sure it was structurally okay by these homeless encampments. Something has to be done. We don't want to be San Francisco, but we certainly don't even want to be Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So the governor said that there could be money put in here. We need to address the mental illness. Certainly that's an issue. And, and I've said that for years, but I'll go back to the early 2000s. We, we used to have deputies in South Hillsborough County pick up the homeless and take them to the Manatee County line. Oh. Uh, David, uh, do you think that, that creating camps is the solution to the homeless population? Uh, it's not the solution. Um, we've certainly seen, in my experience in Tampa over the past year, an increase in the homeless population right here at home. There are homeless people, uh, unhoused people on railroad tracks that I had not seen there before, outside grocery stores that I had not seen before. It's clearly a problem that's exacerbating. Uh, we've seen a 34% increase year over year in Florida's homeless population. The, this bill, what it doesn't do is actually address the core issue. It doesn't mandate that municipalities or counties create these homeless camps. It says that they may create them. And then it says if they do create them, there are a whole bunch of measures that they need to take in order to keep the community and, uh, and the homeless population safe. But it doesn't provide financing. I've heard the rhetoric of, that it's about mental health. It doesn't provide anything in terms of mental health. It's not addressing the core issues. And it does have the potential to result in the criminalization of the homeless population. It is a civil litigation kind of bill. But if cities are forced to do something to remove these homeless folks, it might result in them being criminalized, being taken by police and locked up for the act of existing without a home. And, and Rob, my favorite expression is follow the money. That's what in it, the operative word of what the governor had to say is, yes, this is, sounds like a good solution, but we need funding to be able to take these homeless people to a place where they can where they can really get the services that they need. And if that happens, then that sounds good to me. Uh, you know, you, you worked for a long time in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. from, from the beginning of the Jeb Bush administration, or just in his, his first term, uh, to the year 2022, mm -hmm. two billion dollars was diverted from the Sadowski Housing Trust Fund to right. other needs in Tallahassee. So there is money coming in for housing, but it's uh, for most not of the last 20 years, it's housing. not, yeah. That, so, that's right. And then the Hillsborough County Commission just this week eliminates the little amount of money that was set aside for affordable housing. So uh, 
Let's follow the money. Okay. Um, so you think this is a, a popular thing among voters? or You know, and I, I, Wendy, I wonder what the police and the sheriffs are saying around the state. If, if their new job is to round up homeless people and make them go to shelters or arrest them. I haven't, I haven't seen any reporting on that yet. My guess is that they're not going to be too happy with it. The, the idea of putting homeless people in camps that this bill raises, very difficult for me to take seriously. Where are these camps going to be? Mm. There's no money in this Good bill point. for the cities or the counties. The cities or the counties have to set them up. Where are they going to put them? Whose neighborhood are they going to put them next to? No neighbors want it. What, <laughs> there's no money in this bill to provide the cities or counties money to buy the land to put them on. Homeless people often don't want to go to shelters because they can be dangerous. There's no money in this bill for guards or security people to make these camps safe. These camps are never going to happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. okay.